Thank you. All right. All right. Let's check the sound first. Yeah. And then this one. All right. Mic check. Sounded. Yeah, not bad. Alright. Alright. I'm just going to keep going with Terminator because it's not too bad. Only supposed to be about nine hours, so if I plug the door in a couple of days, then it's done. And then I had like 20 bucks for it. Got, got a couple of streams out of it, so good deal in my opinion. Play, continue, yes. I'm like, I'm not loving it, but I'm not hating it either. It's not like that goddamn nerf game where I want to hurt myself because I played it. What was that other one? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, shit, the other one was, um... Ah, oh, fuck, what was it? I'll think of the name in a second. Zero tolerance, that's what it was. Zero tolerance really wanted me, really wanted to m make me hurt myself so bad. That game was terrible. This ain't bad. Oh, thank God, you're finally here. How did it go? Did you find the soldiers? I did. I helped them escape from that hospital. You don't give up on your people, do you? I like that. So what now? They're supposed to come for me soon. Great. That means that you're going home? No more scavengers constantly nagging you to do things for them? I bet you like the sound of that. Oh, Erin's still up too. Go talk to her. She won't admit it, but she was just as worried as I was. That's great. Do you need help with anything? <laughs> Is that your best pickup line? Sorry, that was a bad joke. I, I tend to do that when I'm stressed. I think I got it from my dad. Better that than his mustache, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't mind me. Seems you were very close. As close as could be. He taught me everything I know. Sometimes without me even knowing. This one time, when I was little, he wanted to make a huge sign that said, Welcome, on the side of our house in Pasadena. So he said, I bet you can't spell that. <laughs> and of course I had to prove him wrong. Believe me. Now I know how stupid that was. Not at all. That was very clever. Yeah. He was always full of bright ideas. Thanks for trying to make me feel better. After Judgment Day, my dad turned our house into a safe haven. A home for everyone who lost theirs. We were like a family with an endless supply of uncles and aunts. I guess my father wanted to help with the war. We never really used guns. So, the only thing we could do was to help others in need. Seems like he helped a lot of people. He did. Right till the very end. Anyway, it was actually really cool. Everybody loved him, and he loved having them around. I think it's because he always had a brand new audience to listen to his bad jokes. He had this really terrible one. He'd walk into the room and ask if anyone had seen his remote because his team was playing. <laughs> I always laughed at it. I'll never understand why. Was he a sports fan? I don't think so. He had a jersey that he wouldn't let anyone touch. But I don't think it was a token of his love of sports. More like a reminder of simpler times. <laughs> Look at me yapping. I'm sorry, you probably have enough on your plate. Anyway... Thanks. It's really nice to have someone to talk to. Yay! Everyone appreciates my love. Oh, I didn't notice that there. I want both of those. Taking all your bullets.
The world before Judgment Day was much different than I imagined. Jennifer's teaching me math and whatever she uh, teaching me math with whatever she can find lying around. Like metal scraps and chemical parts. But I found an old book and it looks like the people in the past used food to learn math. It said this guy Mike wanted to buy 30 watermelons. Never seen a watermelon in my life, but it looks really good. Anyhow, he only had money for 28 of them, but that's still a lot. And there was also this girl, I forget her name, but she had like 10 chocolate bars and ate four of them. And she still had like six chocolate bars left for later. Could you imagine having all that food? Math problems in the past make me hungry. Alright, that's actually a funny note. No need to worry, I'm fine. <sighs> Who said I was worried? I've been thinking a lot about it. And if I can, I've decided to join the Resistance. I'll do more good there than here. I'm glad to hear that. I just hope you're better supplied over there than we are. Speaking of which, I see you've got those antibiotics I asked for. Good. Now I can call Ryan off. I asked him if he brought a shovel with him. If you think that was too morbid, he said that after Judgment Day, digging graves was one of the few things he actually got better at. I got skill points. Private Rivers. Yes, sir. I've got a message from South Division's Field Commander Baron. She's agreed to meet with you. She set up a rendezvous point at the unfinished metro station. You'll need to enter the canal system under the bridge. The meeting's supposed to take place tomorrow, so I suggest moving out soon. Understood. And, Rivers, because of what you did for our guys at that hospital, I'll give you a heads up about Commander Baron. Don't expect a warm welcome. Bye. Looks like you're leaving us soon. Aaron wants to join me. What about you? What do you think about enlisting? Me? <laughs> no. I still have hope I'll get that bus running again. Also, I don't like the attention Skynet's given you guys. I'd rather stay as far from the line of fire as possible. Patrick, get back here! You better go see what's going on. Is everything all right? Patrick's decided that he wants to be a scavenger. And now he won't come out, even though I'm worried sick he'll get stuck. Get back here right now, Patrick! But there's lots of cool stuff in here. You told me it's our job to find stuff for the group. Your sister is right. Get back here. It's too dangerous. Oh, all right, all right. I'm coming out. What was that all about just now? I've got a meeting with Commander Baron. I'm leaving soon. Okay. I'm going with you. And don't even try to stop me. Oh. Are you sure? What's the matter? Don't they let you boys bring dates? Don't worry, kid. She's just worried about you. But she never lets me do anything. That's what older siblings do. They look out for us. 
Was your brother like that too? Well, not really. Is everything ready? Are we going? No, I have to meet Baron first. But I'll come back for you. You better. Good luck out there. I'm guessing she doesn't say much because there's a chance that you don't save her. <laughs> yep. Field Commander Baron has agreed. Uh, uh, Field, uh, 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 Field Commander Baron agreed to meet with you. At the unfinished metro station, I will finally get to deliver her the message about the existence of a new threat, half man, half machine, being created by Skynet. Question is, will she believe me? Considering half their bo Looks half her like boys here first. got skinned. Is everything all right? You seem a little out of it. <sighs> Sorry, I probably shouldn't zone out like that with a gun in my hands, huh? Am I making you nervous? No, not really. Well, you should be. I don't have any formal training like you. I never even held a gun until recently. Can I be honest with you? Sure. There's a reason I decided to come here with you. I want to meet Commander Baron myself. Okay. They're here. When I heard that Private Rivers of the non-existent Pacific Division wants, no, needs to have a meeting with me, I thought, oh, what a lucky girl I am. But then I started thinking, who is Private Rivers? And why should I treat him as anything other than the deserter he is? So right now I'm hoping you give me a good reason why I shouldn't just skip the court-martial and execute you where you stand. This is bullshit. And who do we have here? A brave scavenger? Rivers, do you always bring unauthorized civilians to fight your battles for you? We would have got to you sooner if you hadn't pulled out all your troops from Pasadena. People died there because of you! And what did you do about it? Did you pick up a gun and fight back? Or did you run like you sewer rats always do? Uh... Jennifer's right. There's no need for any of that. Yeah. Today is all about private rivers. So what can you tell me that I don't know already? A few weeks ago, the outpost I was stationed at was ambushed by a Terminator, I think. It was half man, half machine. The entire Pacific Division was wiped out by a single enemy. Half man, half machine? What are you talking about? How did your men let an enemy get that close to you? And we didn't know it was a machine. It could walk, talk, bleed, sweat. There was no way to distinguish it as an enemy. It infiltrated us perfectly. This infiltrator, is it still alive? I I'm not sure. Okay, for now keep everything to yourself. I don't want any rumors, especially since you only think you saw something. Skynet's coming. We're not done here yet, Rivers. Take this plasma. You're a resistance soldier. Time to act like one. To your positions! Drones! Up there! Fire at will! Uh... Ah, shit. Ow. Ow. Cover! Don't be shy, Rivers. This is a great time to impress me. I think I got that one. More will come. We need to move. Get that door open. What the fuck? Fall back. Fall back. Eyes on that door. Terminators. Uh. Go clear! Oh no, it's not. 
squad. Area, go, go, go! Look at it. Oh fuck! More metals! Up there! On that balcony! That actually hurts a little bit. Oh fuck! More metals! Up there! On that balcony! Damn it. Okay. Your choices affect those around. Oh fuck! More metals! Up there! On that balcony! Okay. Okay. Oh fuck! More metals! Up there! On that balcony! Oh, really? Where I'm standing is not helping. Oh, fuck! More metals! Up there! On that balcony! Ow! Get behind! Sure, there's gonna be more. Armored spider ahead. Don't let it get near you. More terminators. How many? I count three. One less. More incoming. Keep your 
your position! Come on. Let's keep moving! Almost there! Got grenades? Fucking throw them! This was an the ambush! Answer. They knew we were coming! How did they know? With the annihilation line getting closer, they must have eavesdropped on our conversation. We're on their radar now. God damn it! They were waiting for us! We're surrounded! Take positions! I got this! Leaving already? There's too many of them! Hold it! Through here! Come on! Follow her! Oh, shit! Alright, let's go. Watch out! Take cover! No! Oh. We need to help him! He's dead. You want to help someone? Help yourself and take his rifle. More of them up here! Stay low! Don't stop shooting! Damn it. Let's try that again. <sighs> More of them up here. Stay low. Don't stop shooting. What? Shenanigans. You can craft ammunition at a crafting table. I know. More of them up here. Stay low. Don't stop shooting. Oh boy. That did not work.
More of them up here! Stay low! Don't stop shooting! More of them up here! Stay low! Don't stop shooting! Get us out of here. We just have to make our way to that industrial building. As soon as that aerial moves, we run. It's clear. Go! Not a very fast runoff. We're getting close. Everyone get ahead of me. Jacob! Rivers! Are you okay? Shoot that thing! Jacob, get off! What happened to covering me? Thank God you're okay! Save that for later. We're not safe yet. We need to get the hell out of here. Where to? The shelter! Come on. I was able to deliver my message to Commander Baron, but Skynet was waiting for us. With the Annihilation Line approaching, we no longer had the luxury of moving undetected. We had no other option but to run to the, uh, to the Resistance Shelter. I'm, uh, I'm sorry about before. And I'm sorry about your soldiers. No need for that. You'll have a hard time getting up every morning if you dwell on that too much. Machines don't do that. And if we want to destroy them, neither can we.
Rivers, since Pacific Division no longer exists, you will now answer to me. That makes you a part of Techcom. Congratulations. No more sitting around waiting for Skynet to come to you. Over here we go out there and meet the enemy face on. Cool. This is it. Resistance Shelter, South Division. I mean, you practically led the... Baron, led DN38217. You basically led Skynet to him. Commander. There with me. Where are the others? Where's my husband? They're dead. Over here is our quartermaster. If you need anything beyond the standard issue equipment, work it out with him. And here's Alvin, residing chief Egghead. Uh, I prefer laboratory director. Like I said, Egghead. He supplies all techcom units with weapon modifications. Everything looks well organized. It is. Everyone pulls their weight here. If someone doesn't, we become weak. And you can probably imagine where I stand on being weak. I'll get right to it. There's a reason I decided to meet you. We intercepted some interesting data. It turns out you're part of a prestigious group. A group of people that Skynet marked for termination. See, John Connor, the leader of the Resistance, is number one on that list. Then, there's me. I know, I'm flattered. Every day, we lead, we fight, and we plan on how to destroy Skynet's central core. So I know exactly why we're on that fucking list. But why would Private Rivers be number three? That infiltrator said something about me being marked for termination. Huh. Interesting. I'll have to have a word with Connor about that. And that brings me to my second point, your first assignment. After the Annihilation Line got to Pasadena, Skynet started building installations there. I want you to go there and collect some intel, so we know what we're up against. Sounds dangerous. It will be. Check with Alvin before you go, he'll have something for you. Remember, you might be valuable to Skynet, but the way I see it, you're still a private. Dismissed. And Rivers! Civilians don't need to know about what happened out there. Whatevs. You're going back to Pasadena? Can't imagine what it's like there now. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, turn back on. Yeah, I'll make a couple of those. to do. Hey, it's a Pacific Division uniform. Eh, he's a long way from home. Shut up. Yo, what you got? I hear you have something for me. I do. Commander Baron wanted me to show you how to customize your weapons. Something I've been working on for some time now. You see, your standard phased plasma is in a 40 watt range. However, you can upgrade its damage, shooting rate, or stability using decoded chips. The same ones you've been collecting from fallen terminators. You can do the upgrades yourself. When you're done, go to the quartermaster. I believe he has something for you as well. 
Open uh, plasma weapons can be upgraded with Skynet chips. Open inventory. Select a plasma weapon to upgrade. Select the upgrade button. Close the circuits by matching three chips in the slot. Each chip and must match. Okay. Ah, oh, really? Lame. Upgrade. What's up? I'm Private Rivers. You got something for me? I've been told you're using old goggles from the Pacific Division. Those aren't even standard issue anymore. Commander Baron asked me to hook you up with the latest version. These babies come equipped with a high-quality camera. What do I do with them? The idea is that when you reach Pasadena, you'll take pictures of Skynet's offensive installations. When you find them, put the goggles on, then aim and shoot. The pictures will be automatically sent to a military satellite that we hijacked from Skynet. They'll give us the necessary intel to prepare for when the Annihilation Line comes. That's it? That's it. We have a place ready for you here when you come back. Before you leave, take a look and see if there's anything else you need. I can get my hands on almost anything, but I don't normally hand out freebies. <laughs> That's it then. 
You're leaving us and going back to Pasadena. Yep, not yet. I need to collect the rest of my stuff from our hideout. Fine by me. Let's go. Please, you need to tell me what happened there. Where's my husband? We were ambushed on our way out of the metro station. There was nothing we could do. He died protecting us. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Thank you for telling me this. You did good by telling her. I don't care what Baron says. That woman deserved to hear the truth. Not knowing would destroy her. Believe me. Aaron would kill to know what happened to her husband. Those dogs look horrible. Yes. Patrick! Look, look! Ryan fixed it! Ryan fixed the bus! <laughs> That's great news! Did you help? No. I was there and helping Mark. He's doing much better now. I hear that you fixed the bus. Yeah, finally. What about you? You meet the resistance? Yeah, finally. God damn it. I heard about Mark. What happened? It was a close call, but he's on the mend now. And I have to thank you for that. So, thank you. So, what's new with you? I've been ordered to go to Pasadena to collect some intel. Is there anything you need from there? Right now, I don't need anything. But there's something you might be interested in. When we were running away the other day, Colin was supposed to bring something. Boxes of adrenaline, painkillers, and who knows what else. Since he didn't bring anything with him, I'd imagine everything's still there. Those stimulants might be useful to you. When used in small doses, they can improve focus and alertness. If I were you, I'd take a look. Okay. You didn't change your mind about joining the Resistance? No. I'm packed and ready to go. You're the one that kept saying that we're going, when in fact we're not. Oh, you really pissed me off, I must say. My bad. You never told me you had a husband. <laughs> you never asked. Was he at that camp with you? He was. Sweet little man. I had to take care of him when they sent us to work, because he was so fragile. Back at the camp... I used to think that the machines kept Peter alive to get me to cooperate. So when there was an opportunity to run, we had to take it. And we did. We ran with this little child that I had started to love. I felt that she was mine. What was her name? Her name was Taylor. Peter said it sounded too manly. So I said, good. We'll finally have a man in the family. But as you know nowadays, no story has a happy ending. She died shortly after. We buried her, and we stopped talking to each other. Eventually, the Annihilation Line caught up with us. We got separated. I ran away. He did too. At least, I hope he did. That's all. He really took a bite out of me. But I don't remember getting this. Ah, oh, man, I could have come here and bought shit. Hello. Yeah, that one's on me. I. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. 
Jacob. Looks like things are finally starting to go our way. Lord tells me you're looking for volunteers that'll join the resistance. You can count me in. It only seems fair since I owe you my life. Hackley dackley. Yeah, Baron, you better be happy. I'm recruiting all these fucking people for you. You're gonna be like, no. Dealer jackass. Still a private. Fuck you, Baron, you piece of shit. Moving out? I am. Do you need anything from Pasadena? No. I'm fine. Are you sure? Your eyes yes. are freaky. There's nothing that I need from there. Uh, with the termination knife equipped, approach the terminator quietly from behind and press R2 to interact uh, when the indicator interaction indicator appears on its back. I see you got that bus running again. You didn't think I would, did you? Well, don't write me off just yet. I still got it. Anyhow, I got something for you. It's called a termination knife. It's supposed to shut down a terminator with a single stab. So if you're sneaking and you want to take them down silently, well, that's your go-to weapon. I guess you could say it terminates terminators. Wow, that was almost as bad as Jan. Where did you get that? A group of travelers came by earlier. We traded, talked for a while. Actually, they said something that got my attention. Something about meeting a guy out there who kept asking about Jacob Rivers. They said he didn't seem right. You don't think it's that thing that you told us about before, do you? Sorry, I probably should have said something right away. Have you changed your mind about joining the Resistance? No. No, I have not. I think I'm better off anywhere that bus takes me. I'm moving out tomorrow. Anyone who wants to join is more than welcome to, but I don't suppose you're interested. What's on your mind? You really got me thinking about old Tucker again. In times like these, I wouldn't mind having him around. He always know what to do. He was the only one who didn't lose his mind after Judgment Day. What did he do? He finally found me hiding below the stage. I was such a nervous wreck. So to try to calm me down, he just said, That band sucked anyway. Tucker said, we need to be calm right now. I listened to him. We all did. Survivors from the concert. Did you contact the military? Well, we uh, eventually found a military base. We assumed that we were safe. But all we found was one crazy dude responsible for nuclear missiles. His whole job was to watch a button that he might never have to press. Imagine what he felt when Skynet sent those nukes without his knowledge. I wonder if he ever pushed that button after Judgment Day. P might as well, right? Finally, we found a couple houses, but the people there were as confused as we were. All the communication went to shit. Tucker managed to find some batteries, and uh, we sat in front of our boombox. They started to list cities to avoid. Cities that were hit by the nuclear bombs. How many cities were hit? I don't know exactly how many, but it took them a couple of minutes just to go through the A's. We looked at each other crying. We just wanted to go home and be with family, but Tucker said that for now, the safest place there is is right where we were. So we decided to stay and start a camp. Alright, back to Pasadena. 
You're going to Pasadena? Yep, yep, I am. I have a mission for you, a secret mission, super important. Probably the most important of them all. I what still think it? you're a Terminator. Can you bring me my chalk? Chalk? Yeah, it's at my house. The one with the beware sign on the side. Could you bring it to me? I mean, if you could. I did bring you that bullet one time. I'll see what I can do. Cool. What Pasadena got for me? Anything interesting? Uh, welcome to the viewer. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the stream. Rivers, are you receiving me? Uh, yeah, totally receiving you. I marked vantage points on your map. Use them to take pictures of the Skynet installations. And although this is a recon mission, you have clearance to engage at will. Over and out. Over and out is incorrect. Saying the word out implies the, that the message is over. The scraps. Uh, okay. Open the door, thank you. Got parts, we're gonna save terminal. Alright, there's a save terminal and a crafting station there. Okay. Watch around here. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. Thank you. Spider bots. Ow, ow. Really? Nice shot. Great shooting there. Uh, can I can I have colour back on my screen now? Thank you. Oh, who can see me now? Oh, there you are. Okay. What's the map showing? Something... Colin Stash. Chalk full of surprises. Okay. She's a big health pack. Right. Private, there's a strong possibility that you'll encounter a T-47 there. It's Skynet's new 
Damn it. What is the checkpoint? Still getting stuck on crap. That's gonna shit. See if this works. Where's that third one? There you are. Okay, that worked. I don't think it should have worked, but it worked, and I will take that. Um. Oh, let me scavenge it. Come on, sweet. All right, I think go up here. What have we got? It's got to be upstairs. Door there. Okay. There we go. Interesting. Interesting. This goes. Uh, so Cullen's stash is supposed to be down here somewhere. Oh, that thing sucks.
Come on. I wish I had seen that earlier. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, that stash is supposed to be around here somewhere. In here. With sufficient explosive skill, you at skill level, you can temporarily disarm or even collect planted laser traps. Like uh, Colin rigged this place with traps. <laughs> Better be careful. <coughs> Pardon me. Material contamination. Contaminator knives. Uh -huh. Alright. Where's this stash of stuff I want? Different stimulants can enhance your speed, toughness, or reflexes for a short period of time. To use combat to use combat stimulants. Assign them to the defensive item. Slot and press triangle. If you're reading this, then you've gotten past my security system. Congrats. Uh, you must be sharp as a sack of marbles. But as you've already noticed, I'm very protective of my stuff. So if you have any sense, you'll put back whatever you tried to take and go about your merry way. But if you're one of them Terminators and you're reading this, then good for you. I didn't even know you all could do that. And since we're actually communicating and all, I gotta ask a favor. Could you let me know why... Why you all need teeth? That's something that's been on my mind for a while now. I mean, you all don't eat, don't chew, and I assume you don't brush either, so why the chompers? Dispensary? There has to be a hospital nearby. Okay. heal at least a little bit. Might be an idea. I've got to have the thing equipped, don't I?
Ага. down here. Let's try that again and not die this time. Oh boy. Not here, you don't know where I am. You guys are stupid. is taking me. Oh, that didn't actually kill it. Okay. Good to know that. It's like good to know apparently my controller's going flat. Uh come here, Charger. Uh where's that other one? Or was that other one? Was that the other one? I don't know. Oh, oh, shit. Go. 
Got him. Okay, let's see if I can work out the deal with this weapon. Because this has to be better than what it. Okay, this thing better do, like, shockingly good crit damage. Thing better do amazing critical damage or I'm going to be upset. Oh, are you serious? I hate you and everything you stand for, game. Doesn't do good enough critical damage. What the hell? Does it zoom? Can I charge it? Give me something. as well. Oh, okay. You can just deactivate it through there. That, uh, makes sense. Is there a zoom? No. I have stability clip. Get back in there. I want to.
gun just seems like crap. on around. Come on! Oh boy. Yeah, it's not bad for taking out those ones. that seems to be able to fight back with any level of competency. Uh, not so good. Oh, is there a save point here? There is. Okay, take that save point. Open up, thank you. Distance, it's not the worst. There it is, thank you. Give me that.
Alright, give me that. Start from last checkpoint. Maybe should have sniped that one. Even though I do think that sniper rifle is a bit pants. Okay, I gotta do this all again. Fantastic. Oh uh, well. We all know I'm a glutton for punishment. Ow. Oh, that took a heap of damage. Back does a absolute ton of damage on them. Makes sense. Aim for the glowy parts. Usual, usual video game fare. Yeah, do you want to get out of my road for a second? Thank you. For fuck's sake. Did you just get hit, thank you. Where's the other one? Up here. Any more? Couple down there. Ah, you idiot. Get around. Oh, why did that? Thanks, game. Thanks for not showing the animation of me dying.
going to be old. Yep. I didn't know there was stuff in here. That's fine. work. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Miss the shot again. You think I'd learn by now. But no, I'm an idiot who keeps doing the same thing over and over again. Ah, I don't have lock picking skills apparently. That didn't kill me. Okay. 
damage on that one up the back. Come around. Tell me there's a way to get into that building. Oh, where's the other one? There. And please tell me there's a save point in here. There was a vent back here. Nice to know. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's a... Uh, here. I was going to say that's reused, but I don't think it... I think it's intentionally reused because I'm back in Pasadena. Or am I stuck? Thank you. Oh. So thanks for uh, not having a save point there. That's amazing. I love it. It's my favorite. safety base up here is that shit up here to be worried about I'm sorry get ah uh, good I was about to say I'm sorry I dispute that but turns out I don't need to first. I still need more skill points. We'll craft one of those though. Hit it. Nah. I'm not here. You don't see me. You don't know where I am. And now you're dead. Shit. Mm-hmm. 
Oh boy. Yep. That didn't work. Stuff. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, get back. That would have been awesome if I got it. That works for me. safety base up there and an objective so we go for that we make our run swear to god if there's anything up there I'm gonna be horrendously mad Disable Skynet outpost, you need to destroy the generator. Alternately, you can hack the main computer and seize control over all enemy turrets on the outpost premises. Commander, I've encountered Skynet's plasma storage. You have a green light to destroy any Skynet structure in Pasadena. But keep in mind that it's not your highest priority. If you want to save ammo, overloading the main computer and any storage Oh, they don't know where I am. I'm hiding. Dispensary. This is it. Looks like Colin was really prepared. Or maybe he was planning to open his own pharmacy once this was all over. Drop that. Aaron will appreciate that.
Alright, head back down here and heal. Let's see, some fabrics. Oh, that's a Terminator there. Um, I'm gonna go this way. Do this. Make sure there isn't shit around me. Peter, it turns out that there are still people out, the, out here. And you thought that we were the only ones who survive. I've decided I'm going to stay with them for a while. I don't think it's particularly safe here, but I'm tired of running. You know we're not uh, getting any younger. There's this guy, Ryan, an old guy like us, who reminds me of how much we've aged. All of them think they have a story to tell since they'd lived through Judgment Day. You know what he asked me? He asked me if I'd remember if I remembered coffee. Quite an icebreaker, don't you think? I think you'd like him. You guys, uh, you guys would have quite the time annoying me. Uh, my watch is ending soon. I miss you. And I miss real coffee. set of pictures. Okay, I could technically go back to that other thing now and... Pick that medium lock. The... Oh, that came in from all the way over there. Okay. Knew it. 
knew I missed it. Uh, did I save after I took those photos? Please tell me the game auto saved. gonna deal with that just yet. I'm gonna do this. Break it! Yeah, Skynet, you're supposed to be the ultimate AI. T47 neutralized. Fine, I'll take a photo of it. Then I'll blow it up. Oh, 
forgot they wanted a photo of it, not me to just blow it up. trouble there. That did not work the way I wanted it to. Back in safety base. Ah, no. Okay. Okay. This thing I'm supposed to take a photo of and not blow up. Got it. Sending it right now. Well done, Private. Now proceed with your main objective.
out. Let it do what it wants to do. Seven neutral. Okay. Well, oh, my laptop just died. Come back, laptop. I need you for chat. Forgot I don't don't have my laptop plugged in. Okay, we'll do that. Hopefully that'll give it enough power. Okay. Okay, what else have we got around here? That. Uh, store. Uh, can I look pick this? Okay. Nope. There we go. Oh. oh, that gave me skill points. Give me look pick, yes. And weapon. Give me lock pick and weapon. Let's go make some blood pigs. Might come back here. Should be crafting. Okay. Now was that up? I think that was upstairs. Okay. Go lock pick this ambulance. That. I didn't notice that there before. We had to look, pick this ambulance, and then that might be an end to it for now. Ah. Uh. Holy crap, I have a shite ton of med kits. 
All right. Resources is cool. Ah, there's one here. There we go. Cool. All right. I'm going to save here. And that's going to be it for the stream uh to the viewer thank you for watching i hope you uh hope you had fun watching and i hope to see you back sometime soon uh, i try and stream daily it doesn't always happen so just keep an eye out and yeah i hope to see you again if you're watching on youtube or the vod uh thank you for watching i do appreciate it i'd love to catch you live sometime have a chat here so Keep an eye out for me and jump in when you see me live. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this stream tonight. Uh, I hope you liked it. And thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later.